Let's talk about the, some of the players on the rise right now, including UCLA's Drew Holiday. Yeah, you know, I think the thing about Holiday is he really struggled this year. I don't think anybody questions that. But when you look back at what kind of player he was in high school and how highly ranked so many NBA scouts have, and they go back to that tape, they go back to look at what he did at UCLA. It wasn't a great fit. He was playing out of position. I think NBA teams look at him as a guy who could be a potential lockdown defender. I think they feel like the offense is going to come. Maybe he's a better shooter than he showed at UCLA. And at the end of the day, this draft is so weak, they're going to look at guys with upside, and I think Holiday could be one of those guys. Juwan Blair is a big body, a good rebounder, low center of gravity, not real tall for a power forward, but obviously an NBA player. Why is his stock on the rise right now among NBA execs? Well, I think there's two reasons. One is that he's lost weight, and that was always an issue about his conditioning. A number of NBA general managers have been down to Florida at IMG. He's t taken off the pounds. He's toned up his body. He's a lot quicker and more athletic now than he showed at Pittsburgh. I think the other thing is NBA GMs like a beast, and after Blake Griffin, there just aren't a lot of beasts in this draft. I think Dewan Blair is the next guy off the board as a, as a, for a guy who can be tough and physical. I think Johnny Flynn of Syracuse caught a lot of people's eyes in the postseason after the Big East regular season. What do execs like about him now? Well, I think that's it started in the postseason for them. And as you look at all these point guards and how they're going to uh, play out at the end, I think they love the swagger that Johnny Flynn plays with. I think the intensity. Uh, you know, it's going to be interesting. Every team has a little diff different need for point guards, but the more general managers I talk to, the more it seems like Flynn is the guy who seems to be rising up on their board. All right, among the players whose stock is down right now, Stephen Curry, the scorer from Davidson, who is the story of last year's NCAA tournament and had a lot of eyes on him this year. Why are executives going the other direction on him right now? It's interesting. They were high on him for most of the year, but as I talked to about 12 NBA executives in the lottery last week and asked them where they thought Stephen Curry would go and whether they would take him, uh, they drew a lot of question marks. I think the one team that we've all been looking at is the New York Knicks at number eight. He would be a good fit in Mike D'Antoni's system, but if he slips past the Knicks at eight, I'm not sure exactly where Stephen Curry lands, and he could slip out of the lottery. And Ty Lawson got his national championship, but he's not getting a lot of love right now from the executives who have him down a little bit. What are the concerns about him? Well, I think it's an injury concern. Some questions about his foot, uh, wondering whether he's going to be a guy who can come in and play right away. I think that, that that will get solved as they do the medical testing for Ty Lawson. But obviously, people were very high on him, how well he played in the tournament. Now they're going back and looking at him, comparing him to other point guards. And with these injury concerns, he could be a guy we could see slip in the draft.